The cabin of commercial aircraft are noisy. During the taxi phase of flight, noise levels inside the cabin of a Boeing 747 or an Airbus A320 average 65 decibels. During takeoff, noise levels inside these aircraft are close to 85 decibels. And during cruise, noise levels are close to 80 decibels. While there appears to be no acoustic design recommendation for aircraft cabin, there are acoustic design recommendations for equivalent places of work such as offices. Notably, noise levels inside the cabin exceed the recommended noise levels for offices. Standards Australia recommends noise levels inside a general office should not exceed 45 decibels. Noise is a known stressor, which has been shown to affect perception, attention, information detection and memory to name a few. The effects of noise on performance are more pronounced for non-native speakers of English when the target signal is presented in English. The aim of the current study was twofold. First, explore the effect on memory and psychomotor performance of simulated in-cabin aircraft noise at 75 decibels, which is similar to that experienced during the cruise phase of a commercial flight. Second, compare the effects of noise with the effects of alcohol on the same task. 32 participants, half non-native English speakers, completed three tests, a working memory test, a recognition memory test, and a reaction time test under four experimental conditions. Wideband noise at 75 decibels with no hearing protection, wideband noise at 75 decibels with active noise cancelling headphones, no noise with blood alcohol concentration level at 0.05, and no noise with a blood alcohol concentration level at 0 0.10. The results revealed that simulated in-cabin aircraft noise at 75 decibels was found to affect recognition memory but not working memory or reaction time. These effects were more pronounced for non-native English speakers and reflected performance similar to that of a blood alcohol concentration level of 0 0.05 or 0 0.10. This research was conducted by Brett Molesworth, Marion Burgess and Annie Zoe. A write-up of this research can be found in the Journal of Acoustical Society of America.